Um, my favorite series thus far, though, has been that uh, Clippers Nuggets uh, series in which the Nuggets were able to tie it up. They got spanked in game one, which didn't surprise me just because, you know, you, you, it's a whole different ball game going from the Utah Jazz, who pretty much the offense is Donovan Mitchell, and that's it, especially since um, Bajanovic, uh didn't, didn't play, um, to go up against the the juggernaut, which is the, the, the Clippers. But uh, they came back in game two, and, uh, you know, we saw, we saw Jamal Murray doing what he was doing in that Utah series. Uh, you know, he, he, boy, he crossed up Kawhi. He caught him. He, he caught Kawhi, hit him with the oop de loop and hit him. He caught, uh, he caught the M1 off of Paul George. Jamal Murray, you know, was, was doing what he was supposed to do. And, and, and what we spoke about Jokic and what he was going to have to do and what he would be able to do in this series, we saw that in, in game two. In a, in a bounce back game for them, and that's that's a big game for the Denver Nuggets to win because if you're Denver, you don't want to go down 0-2 in the series to the Clippers because that could have could have could have been bad, and and we would have been looking more than likely would have been looking at a short series because the Clippers they're not winning on the last second. They when they win them games, they was they they control the game from tip off to the last minute, and it's a dominating performance from every from everybody on the court. So that will demoralize you. So I was I was happy for the Nuggets that they were able to bounce back in game two. Where we go in game three, I don't know. I think the Nuggets might be able to get game three. I still got this this thing is going I think it's going going a distance as well. But I I think that um that, that the Nuggets can can instill game three. The the length of this series is really going to be determined on how uh, hot Jamal Murray stays. Um, he's one of the streakier guys in the league. So when he's playing um, the way he did yesterday, Denver looks like one of the best teams in the NBA because Jokic is getting – there's nobody who's stopping Jokic from getting his numbers. You know, let, we've seen it. It doesn't matter who he plays against. He's getting his. But when Murray is on his game, then they become very tough to stop. They become, again, one of the better teams in the league. And so if he stays hot, yeah, they have a legitimate shot, not only, not only in game three, but for the rest of the series. But if he cools down at any point, then it looks a lot like game one, where they struggle to get offense going and they struggle to do some things. But he make no mistake, he gave the Clippers all they can handle yesterday. Because as you mentioned, he crossed up Kawhi. He had Pat Bev completely frustrated throughout the game. He, he out, gave he them the out. business. Shift. <laughs> yeah, right, because Jamal Murray had him that frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Jamal Murray had those guys frustrated. So if he's on Denver, as we talked about before, Denver has the legitimate shot to making this a long series, but he's got to stay on. I still like the Clippers. I had them, I believe, winning in, in uh, six games. I, I, I don't remember if I had five or six, but I said it, it really is dependent on how streaky Jamal Murray is during the series. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I agree with, with you on that. Jamal Murray is going to have to continue to play the way he did in the Utah series and the way he played in game two in order for Denver to really have a chance in this series. It cannot be just uh yo kick. I know he can pretty much do whatever he wants when he wants against this particular team because they don't have, have the size to stop him. But if they're going to make that leap, they're going to need their second best player to, to really step up and do what he's capable of doing. We've seen it, but we got to get that consistency from Jamal Murray. Once we get that consistency out of Jamal Murray, the Denver Nuggets are going to be a very tough team to beat. And um, and, you know, and they can give anybody in this league problems if both of those two guys are playing at, at, at the level they were playing at in uh in, in game two. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 